slows it down, now starts it out. The crowd yells. He set up a spectacular. Over the line. Still going. Still going. Quick shot. Save Tony Esposito. Score Hodge. Wait a minute. Bobby Harris says no. As Hodge knocked it out of the glove of Tony Esposito. And Tony is mad. But the whistle had blown. That's exactly right, Fred. A little drive by or Hodge was breaking on that right side. I don't think Bobby saw him. He, he made a little flip shot here. Watch Hodge down that right side. There's Orr with the drive. Now watch the whistle it was just blowing right there when Hodge hit Esposito's glove, knocked the puck out of his hand. And Esposito gave a little stick nudge to Hodge as much as to say, uh, look, uh, let's not do that again, fellow. Esposito was nearly in front of the Soviet break on with Lenov, making the pass right in front of the high log. A shot hit Esposito and hurt him. A rising shot, but uh, Tony Esposito on the chest, and I think it hit him on the neck. And the game will be delayed. He's coming over, as you see, and holding his throat as he comes over the bench. There's no question that uh, Tony Esposito was hurt there. That was a high rising shot by Mihailov who came in a good six to 10 feet offside taking that pass from his teammate and walked right in and let a high rising shot go. Esposito, even in jumping up, still caught the puck well up into his chest or up into his throat and I'm sure that that really smarts. As well as Esposito played during his brilliant career, he is perhaps best remembered for his rookie season of 1969-70 when he stymied NHL shooters. 15 shutouts, the Vesna and Calder trophies, and a first-team All-Star berth. His butterfly style became hockey legend, as did his battles with Brother Phil, a sibling rivalry that took hockey to new heights. Antonio's rookie heroics left a Calder memory called the NHL home for 18 seasons. Goaltenders will attest he called the slot his permanent residence. Ego drops the puck. Broken up by Sanderson. He's on the gallop. Tony Esposito's way out. And Sanderson crashes right in on him. Tony Esposito is going after Sanderson, and he's... Here we go! Sanderson and Esposito. Paul and Orr. Tony Esposito tried to get a two-hander on Derek Sanderson with the goalie stick, and then charged him, and Derek dropped his glove. Immediately, Bobby Hull tried to get into it. He was grabbed from behind by Bobby Orr, 